Josh here with Terra Drift, and allow me to introduce you to a water bottle that purifies with the touch of a button, the Crazy Cap. Okay, okay, yeah, I'll be the first to admit that that name sounds more like a highly entertaining accessory for your noggin than a water bottle, but don't discount it yet, because this bottle uses UV technology, UVC to be more precise, to kill bacteria, viruses, and pathogens in your drinking water, which is great because you do not want to be dealing with E. coli or salmonella while you're traveling or hiking. And as a bonus, it also disinfects your water bottle so you don't have to wash it as often. Pretty cool, right? Now, some of you may remember that we reviewed a similar bottle from Lark. So yeah, this is a similar principle, but with some subtle differences. We might point out those differences as we go, but let's go ahead and dive in, shall we? Let's start with the technology, because Frankly, no matter how many scientific papers we linked to in the previous video about UVC, people just didn't seem to believe it's a thing. And it is a thing, it's, it's called science. So here's how it works. UVC is a specific wavelength of ultraviolet light, a type of radiation that penetrates the cell walls of bacteria, viruses, cysts, etc., and neutralizes their ability to reproduce and multiply. And when a cell is neutralized, it can't spread and cause disease. It's been used for water, air, and surface treatments around the world for years, including in hospitals. So no, Crazy Cap isn't the first company to use it to purify water, but it is the first to receive the NSF ANSI 55 certification for ultraviolet water treatment systems, meaning it went through rigorous testing by the water safety industry experts at NSF International to prove that the UVC technology in the Crazy Cap is effective at killing bacteria, viruses, and cysts in drinking water. That's pretty much everything you need to be concerned about, but be aware that water going into the bottle does need to be clear. If light can't pass through it or there are flecks of debris floating around, A, it's not going to filter those out, and B, the UVC can't pass through solids. So it's not going to do a good job of purifying. So if the water you plan to drink from is murky or has sediment in it, filter that out with at least a bandana or a coffee filter first. And and if you're wondering if UVC is safe, because, you know, it's UV, just know that it isn't strong enough to actually cause any damage. Now, going on a hike in the afternoon without sunscreen, now, yeah, that can cause some damage. Just don't point the light directly at your eye, okay? Now, let's talk about the bottle itself. For starters, it has a battery life of up to seven days. Frankly, that's not super impressive, but it's adequate. You'll just have to remember to charge it more often. When you do charge it, it comes with this special charging cable that fits over the top of the bottle. I have mixed feelings about this. On one hand, it makes the right charging cable easy to find, and it means that there are no ports in the cap that make it susceptible to water damage or anything. But on the other hand, it's kind of bulky and means that when you're traveling, you have to bring one more dedicated cable with you, which is kind of a bummer. But moving on, the bottle is double walled, so it's sweat proof and keeps your water cold for up to 24 hours. It's leak proof, made of metal, not plastic, and frankly is pretty easy to use. The cap is where all the technology lives, but it's also where the easy to read indicator light is located. It'll light up different colors to indicate what's going on. A breathing blue, which is a soft, slow pulse. Solid green for a full or nearly full charge. Orange for 25 to 49% charge and red for warning, you probably need to charge this thing. There are also two sterilization modes. Normal mode for purifying fairly innocuous sources like tap water in developed countries, and crazy mode. <laughs> Seriously, who came up with this? For more dubious water sources like in developing countries or natural water sources like streams or lakes. Normal mode runs the UVC for one minute, and crazy mode runs for two. It also has an automatic self-cleaning mode. Every four hours, the UVC turns on for 20 seconds to sterilize the presumably empty bottle to keep mold and mildew from growing or bacteria from accumulating. Anyway, 
double tap the cap to run in normal mode and tap it five times for crazy mode. Too easy. There is one additional feature that makes this product stand out, and that's the fact that when you take the lid off, you can use the UVC light to sterilize surfaces. Now, that sounds cool, but it's a tricky one to get right because efficacy is important to get right under these circumstances. Now, Crazy Cap says the UVC is effective at five square inches per minute on crazy mode. That means that in order to sterilize an item like a keyboard or phone or travel silverware or even the rim of the bottle, you need to hold the light four to five inches away from the surface you want to sterilize. Then moving the cap slowly above the surface, you can only sterilize five square inches. That's five by five square per minute. So 10 square inches in the two minutes it takes the cap to run through crazy mode. Are you still following me? Hang in there. However, a study we found on the website that was done testing the crazy cap on an iPad infected with bacteria showed a slightly different result. Yes, the cap still killed bacteria, but only adequately. It only killed 87% of the bacteria after one crazy mode cycle with the cap held at three inches away from the surface. However, when the cap was held one inch from the surface and the lab testers ran the cap twice on crazy mode, it killed 99.6% of the bacteria. A much better result. See what I mean? Details matter when you're talking about killing microorganisms that can make you sick. External use aside, maybe our favorite feature of this bottle, the cap works on most cola style bottles like these. So if you already have a favorite, maybe it's covered in stickers or you just don't need another bottle. You can just buy the cap, which reduces waste if you don't need or want another stainless steel bottle laying around the house. Naturally, there are accessories like carrying handles and silicone boots you can get to accompany the bottle, and the bottles come in multiple sizes, 12, 17, and 25 ounces, plus tons of colors, so go nuts. There are only a couple things we wouldn't hate to see in the next version whenever that happens. For starters, I wish there was a way to turn off the auto cleaning feature. I mean, if the bottle is clean and dry and sitting in a drawer for a few days, there's really no need to drain the battery with pointless sterilization, but alas. And the battery life, I mean, a week is fine, but when I'm traveling, longer is definitely better. I dig that it's fairly lightweight though. That makes me more likely to actually take it with me when I travel with just a backpack. In any case, it's one more innovative way to reduce waste when traveling or spending time outdoors. You can ditch all of those nasty single-use water bottles and disposable water filters. But once more, for good measure, the water going into the bottle does need to be clear. I really can't stress this enough. UVC will neutralize all the baddies, but it has to be able to actually get to the baddies. So look, don't come crying to me if you get Giardia because you tried to use UV on silty water and it didn't work, okay? Not my fault. Anyway, that about wraps it up, but if you have any other questions about the Crazy Cap 2, or UVC, or the difference between water filters and purifiers, put a link to that video in the description below, feel free to drop us a comment and give this here video a thumbs up if you think we earned your praise and approval, because despite what you may think, we are sensitive, fragile creatures. Then hit subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future high-tech or low-tech gear reviews, or outdoorsy how-tos. Check out TerraDrift.com for even more content you won't find here on YouTube, and come follow along with our adventures on Insta, Facebook, and Twitter. We're at TerraDrift on all of them. And as always, thanks for watching. Now get out there, drink water that won't give you Giardia, and wander on. And listen, when I say you don't want Giardia, you really do not want Giardia. You know what it does? I'm not gonna tell you because I'm gonna throw up. So I'm gonna put a link in the description if you wanna know what Giardia does to you. But be prepared because it's gross. You're just not gonna be a happy camper. Let me just put it that way. And you're not gonna know if you have Giardia until like two weeks after you get it, which really sucks. Cause then you're like, what the heck is happening to me right now? And then you gotta trace your steps back. You gotta be like, oh right, it's because I was in the water and then I put that little thread or whatever in my mouth for a split second and got it that way. I mean, that's just embarrassing. I'm not talking to anybody in particular. I actually am, but he's probably not gonna watch this video, so it's okay. <laughs> and if he does, then I guess 
you know, I'm just throwing them under the bus for the benefit of humanity. So there you go. We have all learned from your mistake here today. So thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now and uh, not get Giardia. So I'll, I'll catch you on the flip side.